New trouble title, elusive batch or something towards the bottom of the list of the center. There is. Should I do that now? Marked an elusive badge. Must explain in person. Meet me on the roof of Zesty's house in Rockport Square. Who is Zesty again? Was it the owner here? Oh, the cook lady, okay. But first, my uh, Luigi. Well, I headed to circuit the break island and got me a marvelous compass piece. You won't believe it, bro. Talk about thrills, chills, and the spirits. That's a pretty nuts, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Yes. And circuit break island. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. Just as our boat arrived at Circuit Break Island, we heard this incredible racket. We soon found out that they hold kart races almost every day on the island. Whoever takes first place in the race gets to rule the island as king for that day. Just as we got to the racetrack, they were holding the award ceremony. I couldn't believe my eyes right there on the trophy they give to the winner. It was another piece of the marvelous compass. I almost passed that away. I decided right then and there that the only thing to do was enter the next race. I mean, I've had driven in kart races before, so I thought I'd be okay. Boy, was I ever wrong. The carts were supercharged, machines that could send you airborne with their exhaust. These vehicles uh, were armed with missiles and bazookas. It was anything goes, bro. <laughs> Bazookas. Of course, I wanted to get right out of there pronto. These drivers were crazy. But I worked my, uh, up my courage and signed up anyway, and my race day finally came. I got one of the best cards, the big green one. I took my position at the start line, the light went green, I stomped the accelerator, and something bad happened. It was in the reverse! The big green one went rocketing backwards with me yelling! <laughs> That's a typical Luigi. I crashed into the wall behind me hard enough to cut me off mid-scream. In one fell swoop I dropped into last place and wrecked my racing machine. But it wasn't all bad news. All the other cards crashed because of my maneuver. Once I got in gear and took off, I was the only car left. I won by a country mile, bro. I took the piece of my trophy and added it to the marvel of the compass. The compass came to life and pointed me toward Jezef Crest Town in the east. And I heard that voice. Princess Eclair's voice echoed in my ears again. Oh, my princess. Random words would form poetry if spoken by your voice. I will most definitely save you. Just wait for me. A princess declare! Oh, sorry about that, bro. Um, so after that, I got back on my boat. And came back here to Rockport. And that's what's been up with me. Thank you. Um... Looking ladies' roof. Oh! Mm -hmm. Hi, Mr. Mustache Cutie. I'm the one with the trouble. Hmm. I'm a pretty lucky girl to have a strapping fellow like you take on my trouble. Well, let me get right to it, okay? I've done all I can to find this one elusive badge, but I failed at every turn. The badge is hidden in Hooktail's lair, of that much I'm sure. I went to check that room after I heard you defeated Hooktail, but nothing. I did hear rumors that to find this badge, one has to use the wind. I have no idea what that means, though. Anyway, look for it, okay, sweetie? In Hooktail's place. One weekend of pampering later. There's nothing here. Unless there's something behind where Hooktail was?
I can't jump here. Is it the switch or something? Just a chest. Badge must me ah Miss Mouse was looking for okay. Meanwhile, at the crusty crack. That face, does it mean you found the badge? Well, this is certainly the badge that I was looking for. Oh my yes. <laughs> now my sweet, promise to hear me out without getting mad. You see? I was the one who hit that badge. It was the little game of mine. I have to apologize. But I knew you would find it. My handsome cheese hunk. You may have even more badge finding skill than I do. Hmm. I just thought of something. Perhaps I just should travel with you from now on. Because mm -hmm, I'm sure to find lots of badges that way, don't you think? Now about that reward, let's see. Take this badge that you managed to find, but I expect you to lead me to more. Now let me formally state that you will now enjoy the pleasure of my company. Hey! That's an optional partner, I assume, since it was just a trouble you had to solve. Will sniff out any items or objects hidden nearby. There doesn't seem to be anything in this area, dearie. Just X, I sniff around and tell you if there are any items nearby. I wish you could bomb as well. There's something right near here, sweetie. There's something nearby, I'll let you know, like I did just now. Battle I can attack enemies with my laugh slap. I can also help out by using my kiss thief move to steal enemies' items. Oh, that's how we get items. Okay, I see. You solved the trouble. Oh, the guy disappeared. But I assume. Next one will be three letters, space, four letters. Hello, four letters. How are you doing? <laughs> With how much I work, life never gets any easier for me. Know what I mean? There's got to be a way just to go poof and get rich, you know? Poof. There is a way for you. At least. I know, I know. And I say hello for letters. There's somebody here I can talk to. Who has something to say? <laughs> Maybe not 60. I would I I would say 21 Hero from Death Note vibes. <laughs> uh, why is your head half inside of the barrel? That must hurt, dude. Um, you don't sail too often, though. Mostly he hangs at Potley's joint on the plaza. Oh, we talked to the captain now. Let's see the captain.
Ooh, there you are. Contrary wealth gives me freedom. Yes, and freedom gives me wealth of spirit. And yet, why is it that a man whose life is unchained must always long for yet more? Ah, what is missing from my life? This tears or tears at my very insides. I must know what do I lack. Romance, I'd say emotion, probably thrills, money maybe. I'd say emotion. Emotion, you say, ah? I suppose each life must experience some emotion. Yes, the gradual process that forever alters the landscape of life, like rain on dirt. Ah, no, foolish Flavio! Not erosion, you silly man, what I need is emotion! Wait, hold the horses, that is it. Now that I am thinking of it, I once heard of the treasure of Cortes, the Pirate King. Yes, this is the answer. Oh, such happiness for me, a hunt for pirate treasure. Why, that just shrieks of romance and thrills and emotion and even money! Do you not know the tale? The Pirate King's treasure hidden on Keelhall Key? Ah, uh, well, tales say that the Pirate King Cortez hit his heart of pirate booty there. Ah, we will find some booty there. Let's go. Can't wait. For years, treasure hunters and ruffians have gone there in search of the loot. But not a single one of them has ever returned. Oh, the horror makes my back tingle. People here whisper that the ghost of Cortes attacks all who seek his treasure. Yeah! It is because of those very rumors that people no longer go to Keelhall Key. But I want to. That will not stop Flavio. That treasure is there, yes. And I am going to prove it. I am Flavio, trader extraordinaire, millionaire sailor of the seven seas. What is that you are saying? You are also looking for a treasure? Here in Rogueport? Why talk such craziness? There isn't anything like that in this dull armpit of a town. <laughs> You cannot be believing each stupid rumor about treasure some street urchin spews out. No, 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 no. Now what madness comes bursting from your mouth? You have a treasure map? Well, hand over. Rather, I mean, show me. You're having a joke on me. This map leads straight to Keelhoi Key. You swine. You mean to steal my treasure out from under me. You awful, awful man. Wait, now I'm confused. You are looking for things known as the crystal stars? But now that I'm thinking, a star-shaped stone was said to be in Cortes' sword. Perhaps I could sell it for a staggering amount of cash. Yes, that would be... Ah, stop such thoughts. Flavio, what you need is romance, thrills and emotion. Cannot ignore what, is, uh, what this business before me suggests. This must be fate at work. Flavio shall go with you to Keelhoi Key. Of course, the crystal star is yours, yes, but the rest of the treasure is mine. Huh? You must repeat that? Flavio's ears are plucked. You have no ship? <laughs> you unfortunate foolish man, do you not know who I am? I will have a ship ready in no time and it will be massive and glorious. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Let us begin preparations immediately, shall we? I will volunteer myself as our intrepid leader. Yes, and you will be captain. Ah, danger and adventure tickle my nostrils. Come to the harbor right away. Let's go. Right the Yosh. To the man. Da, 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 da. Oh, you can't do the flappy flap mid air. 
Bright fair weather today. Yeah, perfect day to set sail if I do say so. Wouldn't mind a bit if the whole journey blew in fair as today. No siri bob. Siri bob? Uh, before we do that, I don't want to go through the dialogue again, so... Let's save real quick and then we can... Board the ship. Ah yes, so it's you are. Well, sadly, a slight problem seems to have popped up. But feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship. She is a fine vessel, no? She is the SS Flavian, the queen of the countless ships in my personal fleet. The raw majesty of her hull, the pomp and circumstance, none can compare to her. You sound like some well-known pirate, Captain Pirate. Ah, behold, the elegant curve of her prow. She cuts to the very soul, don't you agree? She is not just a beauty, she's a savage beast on the water, tops among bow uh, sailboats. But above all, I tell you, this proud ship can sink. Ah, yes, did you speak? Yes, yes, of course. A problem that has sprung up. I had completely forgotten about it. The SS Flavian, she bewitches me. Yes, well, here is the issue. We have no navigator. He ran off the dock. The navigator, of course, is the highest ranked helmsman. They steer ships, you know. Now, here is the real problem. The waters around Kielhol Key are deathly dangerous. We need an absurdly skilled helmsman for our navigator. It is a, how you say, a pickle. Oh, oi, Flavio! Heard you talking there, sir. If you don't mind me saying, I might have a solution. Don't tease me, Perpetch. You can solve our problem, then spit it out already. But sir, I've heard talk of a famed, no, a legendary sailor living in Rogueport. Yeah, I think he's called Admiral Bobbery, a salty old sea dog by all accounts. But he said to have the helmsman's touch, sir. He can make any ship bow to his will. Thing is, there ain't a soul what's seen him on the seas of late. Asa boom! Problem solved. Let us scout out this bobbery fellow and get him on board. As is customary, my captain will handle all negotiations. That what be you, Mario? That does sound fair to everyone, does it not? No complaints. Aye aye, sir. Aye aye, aye aye. Sounds fair. Yeah, I'm on board. Good plan. Sure thing. Then it is decided. You must find this bobbery and bring him here. Our fortune sails with you. Wait a second. I might have an idea. Uh, will you look at that? What do you blokes want? You seek Admiral Bobbery? Never heard of the gent. Take a search elsewhere. Now away with you. How about no? Oh, I should have kept my shine sprites for Bobbery Bob Bob. You there. On someone who matches Bobbery's description but claims he's not him? Strange. I would ask someone who is knowledgeable about the neighborhood about this. You know this guy. Hey, <laughs> oh yes. I'm gonna be filthy rich. I can't wait to leave port. Somebody who knows the neighborhood. Oh, pleased to meet you. Um, your acquaintance. <laughs> yeah, totally... Not sus. Wait. What about you, guy? My dreams will come true. I'm gonna open my very own shop on Keelhaul Key. I don't care if it's small and drum shake. It'll be mine. Just have one slight worry. Keelhaul Key is a deserted cursed island. You think I'll get much foot traffic? I think not. 
Uh, who knows about the neighborhood? Maybe the bandit guys? Let's try the professor first. I mean, you might never know. Aubrey? That old sea dog lives in the east side house right next door. They say he was a great and important sailor long ago. Wait a second. Maybe there's more text. I keep leaving after one text. But yeah, no, okay. The professor said, and I believe. Drop the act, Super Stash. We already found out that you're Admiral Bobbery. What, Poppycock? Tell me, what would you want with me if I were this chap? Your ship needs a navigator and you want me to do the job, hmm? So oh, sorry, but you will have to look elsewhere. I shall set sail up in the sea, never more. But that's just not cool. You wanna see me back or something? Is that it? You have to come along. Only you can get us safely to Keel Hall Key. Awfully sorry, dear boy, but when I say no, what I mean is no! Away with you. Uh, what's the next move, Chief? This salty dude is going nowhere fast. Can't figure this guy out. What's his beef with the ocean anyway? Now what we ought to do, go find someone who knows what this dude's real deal is. Who's there? Admiral Bobbery won't go to sea. That's a setback. Hmm. I don't know the man myself, so I don't know what to tell you, unfortunately. But I'd be willing to bet that Potley knows a thing or two. He works at the inn's cafe. Potley? It's me! It's you! Yes. Hello. Are you on call again? We need to talk. They probably won't go to see, huh? Well, I can't say that surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want Bobbery back on the weather, uh, water? Oh, is that it? Now I see you want to mount an expedition to Keelhoi Key. Rough seas out there. Most sailors would meet their ends. Not old Bobbery though. The fact of the matter is, Admiral Barbary's tale is sad. Horribly sad, actually. You probably end up crying, but I'll tell you if you really want me to. Please do, I can take it. In that case, get ready. Barbary's tale of woe goes something like this. Imagine he would part now. Um, anyway, uh, Bowery was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. Scarlet. Scarlet? Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love. The sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Now Bowery was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for a long period. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Bowery's return. And Bobbery, his eye never drifted, he loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. So they lived and found happiness where they could, and all was good, for a time. But not all good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill. A virus? A passing cold? No one knew, but it soon turned serious. Bobbery at sea on a long, lonely voyage knew nothing of his bright suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. 
Aubrey, of course, blamed himself. My loving wife perished because of me. If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her. He was overcome with such thoughts, they tormented him, always haunting his sleep. He has never gone out two seasons. Gee, what a downer. I guess that's a pretty good reason for hating the ocean. Well, I know his tale now, so tell me, do you still want him to return to sea? Uh... Yes, we have no choice. Very well, I understand. If that determined, then I'll give you this. Don't tell me you... kept an old slip or something from her. <clears throat> an old letter! The letter Scarlet wrote to Bobbery on her deathbed. You kept it, dude? You never gave it to him? What's wrong with you? What the hell? What is this? On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Bobbery a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. I should succumb to this plague, and if my love should blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him, so he may hear my voice. It was her last request. When I saw Bobbery in misery, trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife. I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. I've regretted it ever since. And you should! What the hell, dude? Please. Take this letter and do the deed I was too cowardly to do. Take it to Bobbery. Listen, partly. Thanks a ton. We'll deliver this thing. You feel better, okay? Let's roll, Gonzalez. Stop calling me Gonzalez! It's a me, Mario! Man, if you have a friend like that... I don't know, you don't need any enemies. What? Oh, buy Blabaton's beard. Not you again. No matter how many times you entreat me, my stance is firm. Now away with you. Pardon? A letter you say? For, for, for me? What? Scarlet? This is Scarlet's handwriting. Scarlet, my love. My love, if you're reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I have decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you were out to sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Although my life was short, you gave me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I beg that you remember that time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea as you were one with me. Do not lose both your life's loves. Time like love is a tide. You are one with the sea as you were one with me. Ah, thousand pardons, but may I have a moment alone, if you please? Will he cry? Man, I need some crying sort. <laughs> Yes, love, I was happy. My sweet, sweet Scarlet, I love you still. Now well, then, you were looking for a navigator, I believe. Bound for Keelhoy Key. Harumph! If you think an old sea bomb like me is what you need, then let's show off. My Bobbery, yes! Oh, it didn't say he joined our party. Uh, the ship's in the harbor. Hmm? I must inspect her before we leave. I shall meet you there. Okay. 